life's disappointments will completely drag you down and make you feel despair. But hope can uplift and also show you how to find wisdom. So let's talk about that. Welcome to The Bold Encourager. I'm Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your support. It doesn't cost you anything. It just allows for me to get the Word of God out to everyone as much as possible and spread hope, joy, and peace and love. And I am all about that. We've all been disappointed in life, so we can all understand this topic. Hope is not just something that gets us through life but it also helps us be wise in our decision making and i'm going to talk about this because i've been disappointed in life so many times and there were times where i was depressed and i wasn't holding on to hope and i had to learn the hard way that that was not the right way to do life i'm going to be so genuine and honest with you in this entire series I'm going to pour my heart out and give you the honest to God truth of what I've been through and my experiences. So I hope you really do lean in and hear what I'm saying. So the verse we're going to start with starts in Proverbs 13, 12. It says, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And the Passion Translation, it says, when hope dreams seem to drag on and on, the delay can be depressing. But when at last your dream comes true, life's sweetness will satisfy your soul. So the tree of life is termed salvation is eternal. Jesus is wisdom. So the my pastor, Pastor Jeff, he's my pastor from Hills Church, OC. He has said it numerous times in the study of Proverbs he's doing with his church. And I attend that online. So I will say that if you think that you have to go through some vigorous courses to get wisdom, you're incorrect because all you have to do is get closer to Jesus and you will find wisdom because Jesus is wisdom. And leaning into him is wisdom. He is our hope, our ever-present hope when things get tough. And they're going to get tough. There was no where in the Bible did it say that we would not <laughs> encounter disappointment or hardship. It actually says the exact opposite. It's how we respond to the disappointment that actually justifies everything in our life, helps us represent who Christ is and how we can be a light to the world. So personally, my experiences, life disappointments have shown me I've gone through loss. You know, I've lost people to death at young ages. I've lost, you know, I've had numerous loss in relationships, failed relationships. Things didn't work out for me in a lot of places. I had a lot of heartbreak in all these situations and I definitely did not respond to disappointment in the way that I should have. And I'm learning now and I'm getting better at it. And I stand fully in front of you. I'm not going to make an excuse of why I made those decisions. I just did. And I did everything by making <laughs> emotional decisions. And it caused a lot of friction in my life. Hope is something that we can hold on to. Some, it's a gift. It's a, it's a security for us to get through those hard times. It's, it's not about just faith, but it's about hope and it's about love and it's it's all those things combined, and it's about wisdom. Another verse that I'm going to share with you is also in Proverbs. This is in Proverbs 23, 18, the Passion Translation. Your future is bright and filled with a living hope that will never fade away. In the NIV, there is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. So that is a promise to us. Our hope will not be cut off. If we put hope into our future and we hold on, and it takes a lot of patience and self-control to do that, we can get through these things and we will not experience depression. We will not experience anxiety because we've put all our hope in the living hope 
and he will help us through those times. There are seasons that you will go through that you might experience depression and there's nothing you can do about it. But you work towards getting out of that pit, right? And you let God help you through. I'm not judging you. I'm not going to ever say that there isn't any time that a Christian won't experience that. I've experienced those things too. And I know that life's disappointments, I know like if you were looking forward to something in your life coming to an end, it is so disappointing when it doesn't. (laughs) If it's something that you just want it to end or if you're going through a really tough season and you just want it some closure and you just want it to be over it's sometimes hard to hope for the best it's saying hope will not be cut off if you hold on to hope you will not be cut off from it it is wise to hold on to hope the world will say hope is nothing but you know what they're wrong hope is everything it's what gets us through the hardships because when we hope for something better and we believe in God for it, God will respond and it probably is better than what you expected. So I encourage you to not let life's disappointments to steal your joy and your hope. It is so important to keep holding on to hope. There's one last verse I wanna share with you. Proverbs 24, 14, the Passion Translation. For then you will perceive what is true wisdom, your future will be bright, and this hope living within you will never disappoint you. In the NIV, know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Again, that promise that we see here in this verse, hope will not be cut off. Your future is bright. This is Jesus speaking to you today. Your hope will not be cut off. Life's disappointments are temporary. Hope is eternal. I do not want you to forget that. We were in a season of life disappointments just last year. And maybe this year has gotten better for some of you and maybe it hasn't. But I can tell you from my experience, I was disappointed with last year. I am one that has to be around people. I have to have community. I started losing hope. I felt isolated from everybody. I had to lean into my only hope that would get me through that hard season, and that was Jesus. He was what I needed in that time of despair and that hard season. But I leaned into him, and I grew in my walk with him and it helped me find wisdom. So I hope this message really encourages you today, my friend. Just know that all hope is not lost. Your future is bright. It is a promise, and I pray and hope you seek wisdom, you seek Jesus in everything you do, and know that he will lead you through this hard season that you're going through if you're feeling that disappointment in the season you're currently in. And if you ever need to reach out to me, please don't hesitate. I have all my social media links down below. Please follow, send a message, whatever you need. I'm here for you, friend. This is my ministry that I'm trying to reach out to. All those are hurting, all those are lost, and all those have are experiencing disappointment in life. But I really want to encourage you because I've been there before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel. Also, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will post a new video. And we're continuing Wisdom and Life Lessons series. So you don't want to miss it. So go ahead and hit that notification bell. Well, I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope you stay encouraged. Mm -hmm.